Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm in a quick look at the uh, Sky RC Q200 charger. Now this is a four-way charger. It can do A, B, C and D. Uh, it can charge four batteries at once. It has four millimeter banana plugs, a uh, plug for uh, balance board, USB to use your phone, talk to your PC with it got temperature sensor for the battery packs if your battery packs support that and uh, twin fans I think looking at the outside of it though I could be wrong and uh, you can program each of the channels individually so you could for example be checking battery resistance on A doing a lipo on B let's scroll through to C you could be for example charging a uh, a Lilo battery or a, a LiHV or an IMEM and then you could be for example on channel 4 uh, let's come up the LiPo setting you could even be doing lead acid so you could do four batteries at once it comes with a good selection of leads and a set of balance boards which uh, saves you having individual leads for each battery balance board plugs into the charger into the balance port and then you just plug whether you're using a 2s a 3s a 4 5 or a 6s into there uh, it makes it a lot easier for charging there is memory functions on here you can control it by bluetooth on your phone but i think that's a bit of a gimmick and uh, you can update the software to the latest software now i, I think it's 200 220 quid um i've mentioned it before i've got a friend that's um, been into racing over the years and I get a lot of hand-me-downs and uh, I'm lucky enough to have got a deal on this um, at the right price used uh, I was using a Sky RC T200 before which is very good well, what I wanted to talk about today really was what we've got set up on the air channel here which is battery resistance now that measures the internal resistance in a battery pack which is this 2S1 um, in ohms um, no electrician and if I get any technical bits wrong it's only what I taught myself off the internet and I could have been taught wrong so the internal resistance affects how quickly the power can get out of the battery so if you're looking at performance um, 5200 milliamp hour is is the capacity like the fuel tank if you like and uh, obviously the S is the voltage this one's a 2S 7.4 that's the watts per hour it can deliver and 80C is also in the discharge rate as well so um, there is a formula for working out as a guy called Robbie's RC done a big article on um, lipo batteries I recommend everybody reading it but it's very interesting when you look at the uh, the resistances now I've had no bother with me see batteries I don't race back in the day when I used to race we would match NICAD cells for the same discharge rate um, so that you could have a pack that would last uh, your five minute race on a lap back in the brush motor days and um, if you're looking for getting the most out of your speed controller um, so you need a higher C and you also need low resistance now Z I've been using them for four years now all the Z batteries I own at the moment are a year to a year and a half old or less and they've all performed faultlessly <coughs> But just been looking at the resistance on them all today and I found some they're all to be wildly different. You would assume they'd be matched in the factory and I would imagine this goes for all, all um, suppliers. So I've done the resistance on all these 2S packs I've got and uh, I've wrote it on the end. So this one, for example, I don't know if you know inside, there's two two cells inside here to make the 2S, two, two 3.7 volt cells. So there's two readings, there's one for one cell and one for the other. And this one's a 9 and a 6. Now they're fairly close, but they're not particularly low once you're starting to get up to 9. So you would expect this pack would not perform as well for speed runs and that sort of thing as some of the others. Now, I've got another one here. This one's a 4.7. Probably very similar to that one. But then I've got a few that when I've looked at them, they're all 5.5s five or 5.6s. So it's quite low resistance and quite well matched. And I've even got some that have cells as low as 2 ohms resistance now if that was a 2-2 that would be a fantastic race pack 
but obviously the resistance is in the cells of course the length of the wire the type of plug you're using the, these affect them and depending how they're charged and everything it may vary a little bit as the cell chemistry changes i'm guessing but these are a good guide so i've done all mine now so what i'll do is if i'm only ever going for a, a short run and i want some speed runs i don't need to charge all my packs i'm going to be charging me ones of the lowest resistance when i'm looking for speed and the ones that are closely matched, such as the five fives, the five sixes. I just thought it was quite an interesting little thing. You know, there's uh, loads of, forgive all the soldering gear, I'm going to be changing plugs later. Um, very interesting, because if you get a, <coughs> uh, up to like the T200, um, you can't measure the resistance, and you look obviously use this as a battery meter as well. So, good little charger, can highly recommend it. A little bit noisy when the fan's on, but you know, using four batteries at once got four different channels it's got memories upgradable firmware highly recommended and all in all if you look across my z packs two five five six five 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 most of them are pretty well balanced though i did have a random 14 in there as well but i might uh 14 something or other i can't find it now where is it two four Oh, never mind. I don't know. I've got them somewhere that's something like 14.6. Um, it could be an indicator that that pack's on the way out. I don't know. But uh, it's just something to check on your batteries occasionally. And of course, if you don't use a, a charger to do it, you just use a resistance meter, you'll get one figure for across the whole battery as opposed to uh, the individual cells. Anyway, thanks for watching. And like I say, if you want to know about lipos, I'll find a link for that Robbie's RC guy. It's some, some interesting stuff on there about lipo. And uh, thanks very much. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends.